helps to do, he keeps a tighter defense and a nice counter like that. See, so he's smart first round. And to see what's happening right now, he's backing up a poachy, which is usually not the case. Uh, wisely, he's doing the right oh. things. Oh. And that can still happen. But right now, the slickster in here, I'll tell you this, I'm, I'm curious to see what's going to happen in the next few rounds. Well, and that's the thing, because Ronnie Good Shields. body shots there by Apochi, and he's able to follow up as well with an uppercut. Another uppercut and a right hand from Apochi as he starts to let his hands go. Now he's asserting himself in this third round. Apochi keeps landing that. He might break down Glenn a little bit. Uh, here we go. Here's yeah, that let's right go back to that and take a look here on the left. Yeah. There it is. See, it, it, it knocked Glenn off balance. And there's another right hand left hook by Apochi. He's starting to get his punches in and, and gain some ground back that he lost. Earlier, uh, Glanton, though, we would see if he can keep that energy rising. Lennox, how do you see it so far? What are you reading from there at ringside? Yeah, I'm saying that uh, Glanton is keeping his hands up nice and is moving forward. He's not really getting hit no solid shots right now. And I like the I like the way uh, Apoche is throwing a lot of punches. You know, this is you know sometimes he, he relaxes too much and leaves his head a little bit high. What he needs to be doing is just bending down a little bit and keeping his hands up, just like uh, Glanton. A leaping left hook, right. big thick guy. Oh. But he's able to land, but Apochi is able to land boots. It's a small thing, but it makes a big difference. Oh. Oh. Great action in this fight. He's out. Big hook. Apochi's hurt. Great hand. He's going to get him a count. He's going to get him a count. on the ropes. He's got a count. small thing, but it makes a big difference. Oh, oh, great action in this fight. He's out. Big hook. Apoche is hurt. Great hand. He's going to get him a count. He's going to get him a count. on the ropes. He's got a count. That's a knockdown. Apoche and Glenn's coming on hard. Glenn with the right hand. Drills it. Now he's got him on the ropes. Apoche has stopped moving now. He shakes his head. He's he can make us. Oh. Apochi's yeah. playing possum. Moving in with the uppercut. Still able to move his head. Glant moves in, throwing to the body. Harm to the ropes so he can move to the rest of the ring. Oh, my God. Glant Glant in, the, in the deepest of Trading head. right hands at the moment. You're going to be a hard press. Glant now moves his head a bit, but he's able to land with a thudding right hand. Now Apochi oh, is the busier man. Right hand. Letting his hands go. Glant moves in again, another right hand. Now he's got a poachy pinned on the ropes. One minute left in this round. Oh, great left hook by Glanton. Put in Glanton and fires back. Not only survival skills, he's throwing presence of mind to be able to move his hand and to, to push him away to the right spot. Wow. You can hear his corner, Poach's corner, telling him to keep his hands up because he, after throwing his punches, you know, you want to put your hands up because you're tired, but you got to force oh. yourself to keep your hands up. Look at that. I mean, this is, this is a uppercut beyond, from a poaching. Beyond the fight of the year right now. I don't know how you're ever going to top this this year. This is a great fight. Great fight. And, and I got to tell you, oh, they're, and they're Brian Lesson, they may be cruiserweights, but they're really hitting like heavyweights tonight. Yeah. No, again, if you just give uh, benefit oh. of the doubt and uh, two or three extra rounds, you can have it wide. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Glenn lands a hook. Gets a poach in the corner. Three punch combination from Brandon Glenn. Another combination. Well, look at the poach. He just brushes him moving back, but he's firing. Digs into the body oh. on his way back. Uppercut lands for the poach. And they fight to the belt. I hate it. Let me tell you, there's so much sweat in this in this fight. Nothing can keep uh, sticky. That jab is landing. The hook landed from Apochi. He's able to touch up Glanton. Glanton's putting on the pressure. Landed a good right hand right there, Brian. Wow. Now, this is it right here. Let me tell you. 15 seconds. Let me tell you, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh! Oh! oh. Glanton's wobbled. Can he stay on his feet? That could mean a lot. Maybe he can't afford a 10-8 round. Oh. Apoche wobbles Glanton in the final seconds. We have a...
a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside, Nelson Vasquez, scores about 96 to 93 in favor of Efe Tobor Apochi. Yes, yes. Judge of ringside, John Mariano, scores about 95-94 in favor of Brandon Glanton. And Judge of ringside, Mike Fitzgerald, sees the action 95 to 94 in favor of the winner. He is still undefeated. Bulletproof, Brandon. You hate to see either guy lose. My sense is that the right guy got this decision. Split decision, that close. Joe Lennox, your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, it was a close fight. I love what Brandon was doing. He was throwing some great combinations, and he was coming forward all the time. And as far as uh, Apoche, you know, he came back, he came back, he was a close fight. He threw some great jabs, some great punches. Unbelievable fight, great fight for, this, for both guys. And there can only be one winner.